is up, you Horner. It's me, your host, once again, Jeremiah Duncan. Welcome back to the channel. Today's review that I'm bringing to you is an underground classic. Some say a ripoff. Some say it stands on its own. I'm talking about the 1974 release of The Antichrist. Dun, dun, dun. So this is rated R, runs for an hour and 52 minutes. And if you have not heard of this fantastic film, let's get you connected. It's the Exorcist Italian style in the satanic shocker from director Alberto De Martino from Shadows in an Empty Room. In Rome, a beautiful young woman, played by Carla Gravina from Alfredo Alfredo, is left paralyzed by the trauma of a horrific childhood accident. But when placed under hypnosis, she is seized by visions for past life as a heretic and becomes a foul-mouthed seductress with a taste of, for perversion that leads to her defilement by Satan himself. Now, mankind's only hope for salvation is a harrowing exorcism that will either cast out the devil forever or open the door for the unspeakable birth of the Antichrist. Mel Furr from Nightmare City, Arthur Kennedy from Killer Cop, George Kalouris from Citizen Kane, Aldi Valli from Suspiria, you know, and Umberto Orisini from Violent City, and Anita Strindberg from Almost Human round out the cast of this puke-spewing cult classic with cinematography by Euro Sleaze King Joe Diamato from Beyond the Darkness, and music by Maestro Enio Marconi, from The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, and Bruno Nicolai, the day, a full day's work, Experience the Antichrist, also known as The Tempter, and it's all uncut, holy, unholy glory. So, again, great film. I thoroughly enjoyed it, loved it. Um, it's a good 70s religious demon film. I mean... Super, super cool film. Uh, like I said, a lot of people, and it even kind of gives a nod to The Exorcist on the back. It came out about a year or so after The Exorcist, so a lot of people thought it was a rip-off. But it's Italian, so they can do whatever they want. Um, and, you know, it, the story is nothing like The Exorcist, despite having the vomit, despite having an exorcism, despite having the priest and all that stuff. I mean, it's a parano It's like a paranormal exorcism movie. You know, like all of them have, the, have those elements. But this is kind of a different, different um, vibe and, you know, I don't know. It's got creepy elements to it. It's not as scary as The Exorcist, I will say that, but it is definitely as enjoyable. Um, it was written by uh, Gianfranco... Clarici, who actually was a co-writer on um, Cannibal Holocaust, which is pretty rad. And, of course, um, another co-writer was uh, Vincento, I think it was Manino or Mancino. Anyway, he was on the uh, New York Ripper movie. He was co-writer for that. So, again, it stands on its own. It's worth the watch, especially if you're into exorcism movies and things like that. And Italian film, fantastic. I mean... Like I said, the 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 people that wrote and produced The Exorcist actually thought this was so much of a ripoff that they tried to sue them. But guess what? That didn't work out. They lost. So that should tell you, though, that it stands on its own. So screw you. The Antichrist is just, it's not as good, but it's close. It's close. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. If you've seen it, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like, subscribe. Hit the death bell for notifications. Stick around. i got more reviews coming to you.